I'm Dr. Matt Panetti, you're watching Primetime Health TV, and today we're talking about the two exercises that you need to be doing if you want to get relief from your back pain. So if you've got back pain, understand first and foremost, most back pain is collateral damage. What that means is you've got a core problem underneath somewhere, located somewhere else, that's contributing to that back pain. So just getting simply relief from the back pain doesn't fix the problem. The problem's still there. And, and that will flare up down the road if you don't do anything about it. And it typically gets worse if nothing's done about it. So understand, if you really wanna fix this problem and have it not come back, you need to address that underlying core problem. Nonetheless, I get it, you're in pain, you wanna get relief. So here's two exercises that I find extremely beneficial for back pain. One thing that people don't understand about the back is the muscles in the back typically aren't gonna be responsible for carrying a lot of the load, except when the hips and the pelvis and the tailbone fuse, when they, when they, when they start sticking together more than they should. And the reason that would happen is from being not moving a lot, sitting at a desk, um, sitting on the couch, just not moving. So when, when that happens, when you're stationary for too long, the bones in the, in the hips and the pelvis stop moving as well, and that puts a lot more stress, a lot more force into the low back musculature. It's not designed to do that, and that leads to pain discomfort. So let's get this moving. One way to do that is high knees. High knees in place, like you're marching, one of the best exercises you can do. Walking is good movement, but ultimately it doesn't get a lot of motion in your hips. So what you need to be doing is lifting those legs up higher. The higher the better. It gets better motion in the hips, sacrum and tailbone, and it takes stress off the low back muscles. Second exercise you can be doing is something called hip rocks. And hip rocks are a really easy exercise to be doing, but it takes a little bit of brain to body connection and, and I'll show you what I mean. Most people are familiar with this exercise. Which is a really great exercise. It's done in yoga and, and, and that's all good and well, but that's not what we're doing here. We're gonna keep our mid back and upper back as still as possible and just isolate our hip joints. So what we wanna do is arch it and then tuck it under. Arch, tuck it under. The motion's gonna be less but we're isolating just the hip joints. It's not this, it's just this. And I would recommend doing anywhere from 10 to 20 of those. That'll get better motion down there in the hips. It also starts to strengthen some of the muscles that are weak, allowing the pain to move up into the low back. So strengthen those muscles, get better motion, and you'll notice some relief from that back pain. Hope that helps, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.